Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the first day of October 2022. And this is Nigerian Independence Day. I want to congratulate you. We're starting the day uh, in the Worship and Wonders Night and God's presence is very, very heavy. Praise God. Our topic today is the God who terminates captivity. Bible says, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. This is John 8, 36. Thought for the day. Bondage cannot exist with God. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to the 10th month of the year 2022. It's our year of overflowing grace and glory. October is a very strategic month in the history of our dear nation Nigeria. It's the month that marks the anniversary of our political independence from the colonial masters. Therefore, in our study today, we shall look at the God who terminates captivity. It's been confirmed that our God is the God of liberty or freedom. We serve a God who is a specialist in the liberty of both life and lands. Let's look at a few examples. Number one, he brought Israel out of the captivity of 430 years in the land of Egypt, Exodus 12, 40 to 41. He also terminated the captivity of Joseph, who was bound in chains and imprisoned in the land of Egypt. Psalm 105 verse 20. Thirdly, he brought Paul and Silas out of prison in Acts chapter 16 verse 25 to 26. Our God is a God of liberty. 2 Corinthians 3 17 says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There can be no bondage in God. Bondage cannot exist in God. This is why Psalm 107 verse 20 says that he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their captivity or from their destruction. So it is fully established that no one can remain bound or tied around God. In, in, in John chapter 11 verse 44 concerning Lazarus, Jesus said, lose him and let him go. God is losing you today and setting you free in Jesus' name. In Luke 13, 10 to 12, Jesus loosed the woman from her 18-year bondage and captivity of being bent over. So Jesus' assignment is to set the captive free anywhere he finds them. Beloved, I decree that you shall encounter the God who terminates captivities in the name of Jesus. By the apostolic and prophetic mantle on our lives, we decree and we declare today the termination of every form of captivity around your life, your family, and your destiny. I decree the termination of any situation of captivity or bondage or setback in our nation, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Remember this, bondage cannot exist in God. What's our assignment today? First and foremost, go through today's message thoughtfully and prayerfully again. And then number two, make demands on God to terminate every form of bondage in your life. Praise the Lord. Every captivity and limitation is being terminated today in your life in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for the revelation of your word in today's message. I ask that you terminate every situation of captivity and bondage, every curse, every spell, and every negative pattern in my life and in our nation, in Jesus' name. Praise God. I'm excited. I believe the Lord has heard that and the Lord has answered. Don't forget to go to your Bible reading. We're reading Zechariah chapter 3 to 5 today. I declare to you today, God's help 
be made manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that this month, freedom, liberty shall be established in every aspect of your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God bless you and you have yourself a wonderful day and a wonderful year in Jesus' name. It's your birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. First of October, anniversary, Nigeria anniversary celebration, I declare liberty, freedom, progress, advancement in Jesus' name. You'd like to be born again today? Today is your opportunity to let Jesus be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.